What's up, super awesome nerds, B2. We're gonna talk about Epic RPG for a minute. So I am number 13 in the entire game. Great, hurrah, I've been playing since June 2020. Um, but I wanted to walk you through my account, show you some things that I'm working on, uh, show you a little bit about the Christmas event that's getting ready to end. Um, it's very similar to the 2021, so no, no big surprise. There's a couple changes to it. Uh, but first, if you're liking the content, hit like, hit subscribe, help your boy out, grow the channel. Um, and then if you need an invite to the Rough Rider server here, uh, we are a level three server. So come and join us. It's in my YouTube channel description. So just go in there, click the link and join us, join us, join us. So, all right. So um, there's the top 15. I can tell you that um, Argon has stopped moving. So 123, 14. Jordy has stopped moving 110, one, uh, 110 and area 14, which is nice because I can see who the next person coming up is and how much space is between us, right? So, so I got eight time travels now, which would take someone a couple of months to catch me. I do miss some of my dungeons, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I have busy days. Um, and then on the weekends, I'm trying to gauge the walking that we do on the fitness channel with everything on the gaming channel. So it just gets kind of crazy. I don't maximize my dungeons every week. So, all right, so here we go. So uh, T10 horse, golden, still looking for special to breed that over into um, super special. I just think that's going to be the way to go to grab levels early in the game, uh, along with the duels. Uh, not early in the game, early with the time travel. It'll, it'll be able to duel and gain levels and then super special and gain levels. Um, making it easier to, to, to get higher and higher. Now, there is like an achievement in here. If you do RPG, ACH, you can run through the different categories. So say if you want to do progress, you would do RPG, progress. It would show you page one. Then you would do progress two, and it would show you two. Basically, you can flip through all those achievements and, and, and check out like what needs to happen for those, right? So, so you can also do RPG top... ACH, it's going to show you who has the 99.85 zombie player. That, that that's amazing, actually. Like to get well anywhere over 90 is pretty pretty stinking um, uh, fat because there are some in there that are eat like 12,000 cookies, get to level a thousand, like just things that some of the newer players are not going to be able to hit. There's a whole bunch of weird things like win a duel and tie a duel and. Um, you know, you, you'll have to flip through them and look at them. They're very cool as like side quest type items to complete. Um, that's what I love about this game is they've really, really, really done a great job uh, making it so you you want to keep playing basically. So um, but what you do, do though for me is I come in and I just look through my stuff, right? So you'll notice that, that I do use um, Epic Helper. It tells me so I don't miss a quest. I don't miss a, 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 a training. I don't miss something like that. But you'll notice how I'm auto filling in the stuff. Um, I do have short uh, shortcuts on my keyboard, but it requires me to press the button and hit enter. It's not a macro that's that's running by itself. It's just a keyboard shortcut, like an auto fill on your iPhone or, or your Droid if you swing that way. So so uh, so it's not cheating. I actually came back and, uh, and and clarified with everybody to make sure. Uh, but it just makes the game easier to play. I have five of them. Um, I do a hunt button. I do a training. I do a um, a work command. I do a farm command and I do my adventure commands and that way when I'm going back through I can play my other games because we have like um, these all bot channels here so I can get my um, my OWO in I can uh, play my idle miner in this channel um, and keep progressing in these other uh, these other games as well anyway I'm not gonna do that I just wanted to show you why I prefer this channel on the all bots uh, we got three of them for the different tiers on the on the server so you'll notice that a T3 can only play in this room um, they, they can play in all three rooms actually. T2 can play here and here, and then a regular can only play in the all bots one. So uh, we do that to kind of give everybody some separation on the server, or people would just really kind of hang out in one room. I like to play in the open channels because um, I just like to be able to hit the events. And so I'll either play in these epic rooms here, which everybody can see, or the all bots one, uh, just so that nobody, you know, we can hit like the chops and the fishes and all that. The fish is. So um, let's go back down here. 
think Ponky is in that channel. I'm gonna let him keep that channel, but let's keep going. So, um, so I got the T10 horse. Um, you'll notice that that I'm sitting on the Ultra Mega Sword and the Omega Armor right now. I'm at um, Dungeon 12, which are the solo dungeons. Uh, but I need to collect. Uh, dragon skill, so I need 345 more, which is going to be hard to do today. Um, my partner Kit right now is, um, you'll see I'm married to Kit soon, Master. He's um, he's farming right now. He farms, so so the, the idea behind the marriage is to get someone who has the opposite time zone from you. Uh, most people get people that are in the same time zone because they're they're active, but you need to look for someone who, who has an opposite time zone. So I'm East Coast US, and Kit is in Romania. I believe it's Romania, but um, he um, we talk all the time in our, our little private um, in the direct messages. But just a great dude all together. Um, like I actually uh, um, really enjoy this guy. He's just a great player. Um, he keeps the farming going. Then when he goes to bed, it's typically about. 4.30 Eastern my time, I can get another five hours of play time in to extend what he's already done for him as well. So then he logs in. Um, he's a student, so he's on his computer all day, and he's got two screens going, and he'll pop commands all the time. Um, I do the same thing. I work all day, so by the time I get home at 5 o'clock, um, I can sit on the couch with my wife, flip through some gaming commands, um, and it doesn't take away from from you know from her, where we can watch TV together and I can be playing. She's typically got her computer open, working on something graphic design design wise so it just worked out right so um just to show you what the plan is here i'm going to show you my inventory so i'm saving up to um um these potions i got nine here and six candy canes that's actually another full time travel that i'm going to get from the christmas event so so what you're trying to do and what you're looking for during these events there's three big events every year that go on it's where you're going to make the absolute most progress so starting chronologically you're going to have easter that gives you sleepy potions you're going to have halloween which gives you sleepy potions and christmas which gives you sleepy potions during that time you can earn an extra four to five time travels if you play um, a significant amount or are married to a partner like kit and i where we're getting the maximum amount of farming. You look, I got 20,000 snowballs left and I got really nothing to spend it on. I bought everything in the store. So if I go to Xmas shop and I look, um, there's just not anything else that I can really buy besides wooden logs. I can get some arena resets, but I just, I don't know, arena just doesn't excite me like it used to, right? So so, uh, so I'll do it when when the cooldown comes, but that's just not something that I, that I look for. And I don't do anything with the mini bosses because I'm actually, um, advancing dungeons every single eight hours now based on my cooldown for the patreon so you can see i bought my two omegas i got the christmas title christmas background godly horse and if you go back to my inventory i have another 30 gingerbreads left uh, that are there's there i can go and travel to the area zero and get i guess more presents to try to get more candy canes because if you look at xmas present um it'll tell you like i've gotten all 15 of my sleepies i've gotten 14 christmas hats um, and 16 of the 25 candy canes. So there are nine more uh, candy canes, and the candy canes move you a level, right? So if I was to go use a candy cane right now, I can go from level 12 to 13. The problem is, is that I got to farm so many dragon scales on my inventory that I, there's just no sense in speeding this dungeon up just to speed up to have to farm stuff, right? So, so what a lot of people do during these things is they'll blow through the sleep bees and get the candy canes and get a huge bump in levels and, and a couple of time travels, but they don't use them effectively. So like, for instance, if I'm going to come in and, uh, and, and I, let's say I time travel and I go to um, area one, I still have to farm 50 wolf skins, right? So, so what I would do is I would, I would do my dungeon and I would use a sleepy and then, uh, you know, I would do my time travel, do all my commands, use a sleepy potion, go to area two, stay in area two until you farm your, um, your 50 wolf skins, right? And then on your eight hour cooldown, if you're a donor or 12, if you're not, then you would run your dungeon. You would go to, to dungeon three, then I would use a sleepy and go to four and then farm all your, your zombie eyes, right? And then you could run your dungeon at the next dungeon and run a sleepy, then farm all your unicorns. So you're not waiting to farm all those things on the next level. So if you just use two sleepies go to the forward dungeon or go past it you're gonna have to go back and farm it or hope you can get enough edgy loot boxes to open all that stuff up right so so that's what you know you want to use those wisely and get them through there uh so i'll probably use two tri time travels to get through those 16 
um, you know, candy canes and sleepies on there. So hopefully that helps, you know, you guys out a little bit with that. Um, so there's not much else to the Christmas thing. There's, um, there was a, I think there was a tree. Yeah. So your tree would go in and you just unwrap, uh, the, the 25 godlies for that was just, just a ton, right? But you get the title, all the cool stuff on there as you build the tree. And you just basically get that from, from just regular play to be honest there's no need to try to rush that or try to put it together first or any of that stuff and then there was an xmas quest um on here it's not available anymore but it's pretty simple and then there's um because yeah, we're at the end of that so let's see uh task there was daily and weekly task which gave you a ton of stuff gingerbread snowball snowflakes all that stuff uh, because you want the snowflakes to buy all the all the cool stuff and the gingerbread to get all the cool things, right? So so that's pretty much the Christmas event. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to do an upgraded one next Christmas because a lot of people, I just forget, like it's a busy time of year, and then I get like three quarters of the way through the event. I'm like, ah, it's too late to film it, you know. But next year, I promise I will update it for 2021. All right, guys, any questions? Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put this top... Uh, 15 back up um, you can do this for all the commands right so if you want to do worker you could just do top worker and then boom you can see rebond 123 is just it's ridiculous that dude's on he's on fire man so i uh, hope you guys are doing great let me know if you have any questions